Okay, so we've got a uh, compressing stat here. And as you can see, it's set up and running. We've got a demand on the heat right now. What I want to show you is, and I'm sorry the picture's a little bit keystoned at the moment, that's just so I can keep my reflection out of it. Uh, as you just saw. What I want you to look at is this Rubik's Cube up here in the corner. If I hit that, then we have two things that pop up, notifications and settings. Now I'm gonna look at notifications real quick. I'm not gonna spend any time there. You can see that these are like service urgent uh, things and maintenance reminders. So to get out of that, we're going to, sorry, we're gonna hit that right there. Okay, so we've backed back out, but I'm going back into it with this Rubik's Cube and I'm gonna go to settings. Okay, so there's several things to look at here. Uh, we've got the name. True temp is a like a feels like setting. We can set our fan, heat and cool, humidity. Again, we got notifications. Let's look at those real quick. Notifications, these are different than the ones we just looked at. These are like maintenance reminders. So we're gonna back out of that and we're gonna go see, I'm, we're gonna talk about peep monitoring here in a little bit, but advanced settings is where I wanna go. Now, as you can see your options there, we've got view the dealer control center, and, uh, and then of course restart, and then pair your smart hub. Where I wanna go is to view the dealer control center. Now, as soon as I select that, what it's gonna do is it's gonna come up with a screen like, you sure you wanna do this? And the real purpose of that is to keep the homeowner out of it. So, here we go. Yes, we're gonna say proceed. We're sure we wanna go. So. Here's our dealer's control center. Now we've got all kinds of stuff we can do under here. This is really a great screen. When I go to equipment, I've got, I've got, notice I'm on Smart Hub. Look at all the settings I've got. All the things I can adjust and change. Modulating gas heating, steady state, proportional integral gain. Uh, you, you've just got so much here that you can change. Um, and, and keep in mind, again, we're just on the Smart Hub. So when we, if we backed out of that, we can go look at the heat pump and we've got some settings there we can change. Short cycle delay, defrost termination temperature, uh, low and high cooling airflow, low and high heating airflow. Uh, probably got some balance point stuff in here somewhere. Not exactly sure where. We've got the furnace. Uh, I'll show you some of those settings. Heating on delay, cooling on, cooling off heat pump blower off delay okay and we've got some thermostat settings all right you can also add or remove equipment down here and you can go through and see what all you can add all right we're gonna back out of that what I really wanted to show you for purposes of this video was the tests so when I hit test notice that all the tests are selected we're gonna deselect all. See that up at the top? Deselect all. Now all the check marks went away. If we just wanted to run this thing and say, heat pump maximum, heating maximum, and we hit start, it's gonna come up, it's gonna throttle up. And I don't know if you can hear that thing throttling up or not. I suspect you can. Yeah, head pressure's climbing up to around 400. So, all right, at any time, we can say done. Okay, and this will begin to throttle back. It's come back to the screen where we were, and we're gonna back out of here. And so then we can hit exit, and we're right back to the thermostat where we were. Now, there's some other things that, that I've probably shown you, or, or that I will show in the, in the training class, but, Here's our weather. Uh, if this were in your bedroom, you get up every morning and just look at the weather. What's it gonna do? You know, am I gonna ride my bike to work? Maybe that's nuts for some of you. Uh, trying to get back to it. And if you can see, it's based on AccuWeather. <clears throat> so that's all for now.